crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So I'm really excited today. Today I am sharing with you the first project that I am making in the rebuild of the craft room. So I am moving in this week and I took some time out to put together Inspiration Friday project and it's actually going to be a wall piece here in my craft room. So I can't wait for you guys to stay tuned and join me um, as we do some upcycling um, this week. And hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on that bell. And depending on the options you choose, um, YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. Try to do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So give me a second, I'm gonna get my camera angle change and we are gonna be doing some upcycling of a, um, a bulletin board that I bought at a garage sale for $1. And wait till you see what I turn it into, so stay tuned. And here's a bulletin board that I started out with. I picked it up at a garage sale last weekend for a dollar. So the first thing I needed to do is take the cork board away from the frame. And you can see here that I've got them taken apart. And I will tell you, I needed to give it a good wash job before I went out and applied um, a coat of paint. Now I use Krylon Chalky Finish and it's called Waterfall. I just absolutely love the color. One of the things I needed to make sure as I was going around is, is that I got all sides of the frame. And so you can see here, I'm just going around and around, making sure that I've got all of the frame painted. Okay, so now that I've got my frame all painted, just brought it in from outside. It just looks absolutely beautiful. I love the color. What I need to do now is determine how much fabric I'm going to need. Now, I've already pre-measured my fabric, but I just want to show you how I did it. You can do it a couple different ways. You can measure your cork and then determine it that way. I happen to have some fabric on hand. So what I did is I laid out my fabric and then I laid my cork board on top so I could tell um, what, what amount of fabric I needed. Now what I like to do, because we are going to wrap this when we're ready to um, get done with it, I like to leave a little bit of an edge. So I would say about two inches all the way around is really a good idea, a safe amount um, to use for the cork. So, But before we do that, I am actually going to put my logo in the middle of this um, when I'm hanging it up. So my hanging is going to be this direction. So it's going to be like this, and this is gonna hang above my desk. And so what I wanna do is I wanna determine the best spot to put the logo, because I want it to be right in the middle, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my fabric. Now you guys, if you don't are not into sublimation, you can use heat transfer vinyl on this. You don't have to just use sublimation for this type of a project. So um, I just really like what the sublimation looks like, but if you guys want to use heat transfer vinyl or if you guys just want to find some fun fabric, that's always good too. Now for this step, I am not worrying about pressing it right now because I'm going to be putting it over on my heat press here in just a second. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down, I'm gonna supplement on it, and then I'm gonna give it a good press, okay? One thing you wanna make sure before we put our fabric on our cork board, we wanna make sure that our fabric's all pressed because you don't want wrinkles showing up on your cork board, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this over to um, the heat press. I'm going to put my design down and then I'm gonna meet you back here and we'll put it inside the cork board, on the cork board, and then we'll put the frame around it, and we'll have a fabric covered, um, uh, ah, I can't even talk, we'll have a fabric um, covered um, bulletin board. What a way to upcycle my dollar, my dollar garage sale um, bulletin board. Wow, Lisa can't talk today. So 
Join me back. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back from the sublimation printer and I just want to show you how beautiful that print came out on that material. Now, I forgot to tell you, I am using outdoor fabric um, and I just love using the outdoor fabric and normally you can always find outdoor fabric that is 100% polyester and that's what makes it so easy to supplement on. Now, again, if you guys are using an HTV, um, you know, a, a heat transfer vinyl, um, you definitely can use cotton. You don't need to use the polyester, okay? So now what I'm trying to do is I went over above my desk and I kind of measured where I want my fun stuff to show up. And it is a little bit higher than um, where um, the middle is, okay? So I'm just kind of pressing it out. I did give it a good press with my iron. And we're gonna do two things to secure it, okay? The one thing we're gonna do is I'm going to be using a, um, a spray adhesive, and that's gonna really put it down onto the cork. And then we're gonna turn it over and we are gonna pull it and do it with the staples just to give it a little bit more secure, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab some paper to put underneath because this is my brand new table and I don't want to get spray adhesive on it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got some paper underneath. What I'm gonna do with the spray adhesive is I'm only gonna do a section at a time. So I've got the fun stuff. I'm gonna measure just to make sure because um, I want it in the upper third of this. So I've got 36 inches, so 18 would be my middle. So I need to raise it up just a little bit more, making sure I got enough to pull it on the corners. There we go. I'm going to raise it right up like that. Okay, make sure my board is straight here. Fun stuff looks straight there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up. Okay, and I am going to give it a good spray. Okay. And then I'm going to bring the fabric down. And we're just going to lay it on it and we're going to push it out. Okay. And that is just going to make sure my fabric is on that cork really, really nice. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my board around. And I'm going to do the other side. Okay. And you just start to feel where it was. Making sure I got my table covered. bring this one down. I'm going to lay it really easy and then just really just take your time and push it all out. Okay. Get it all nice and pushed out. And once you have that, we're going to flip it over and we're going to give it some staples. Okay. I'm going to flip it over. So I'm just folding my edge over. I've got three quarter eighths inch um, staples in. And I'm just gonna give one staple there and I'm gonna come over and do another staple. I'm not gonna overdo the staples because I've got that frame that is going to um, hold everything in place too, okay? Making sure my staples did not come through. That would not be a good thing, all right? And I'm going to come around and I'm going to do the other side. Okay. Might not be able to make it look as pretty because <laughs> I can pull that fabric up a little bit. Okay. But we're just going to bring this all the way around and I'm just going to put three on each side. And then my cork board, when I pulled it out of the frame, it's got corners cut out of it. And so that'll make it really nice for wrapping um, the corners, okay? Because when I put that, that frame is gonna fit really tight into this back in. Just working my way. I'm not gonna be able to make all my ends as pretty as Lisa wanted it, but I'm just excited to see what this looks like. It's just gonna give a punch of color. You guys remember in my old craft room, um, I actually had done a um, kind of a spoof on how to do a, a stretch canvas with a poster. Well, this time I'm doing my logo with a bulletin board because I thought 
How practical is this? One, I definitely wanted my logo up someplace in my craft room. And two, um, this is going to help me stay organized because now I'm going to have a place to put things up. And just think, you guys, school's starting again, right? So this would be a great project that you could do um, for, um, you know, your kids' um, um, homework. You know, maybe you need a, a message board, a message station in your kitchen. You know, all those different types of things that you could use a bulletin board for. And you guys, like I said at the beginning, I picked this thing up for a dollar um, at a um, garage sale um, last weekend. So I had so much fun garage sailing last weekend. Um, we um, have a, a community close by my home and they were having their annual garage sale. And I don't know what it was, but there was a lot of ladies getting rid of um, craft supplies. So boy, did I make out good on um, some of my craft supplies. You guys can see I'm just kind of trimming this up a little bit as I go. And then just stapling it. And then what I'm gonna do is with the frame, I am actually going to put the frame in and then I'm gonna add some glue to secure it. Um, when I took the, the frame off, um, it, was, it was really interesting to see how they had it all put together, let me tell you. So there was a lot of glue there. So um, just to give it a good, make it good and secure, I'm gonna do the same thing, so. Okay, so we have got our bulletin board all put together this way, right? Now what we need to do is we need to add the frame. So first, let's make sure the thing fits, right? Yes, look at that. Look how pretty that's gonna look, you guys. It's gonna look great. I can't wait to show you what it looks like hanging up over my desk. Okay, see how cool that looks? Now I got a little bit of something there, okay. How pretty is that, you guys? Okay, just to make sure my frame stays in really good, I'm gonna grab my glue gun, and I'm gonna put a bead of glue all the way around the edges. Let's see, Lisa's got a new glue gun. Seems like I've got a little bit new of everything. Let's see how this glue gun's gonna work for me. Looks like I need another stick of glue. I haven't used a Sherbon glue gun before, so we'll see how it works for me. Okay, I'm just gonna put a bead of glue all the way down. And I'll tell you, this is what the person had done when I took this one apart. So I thought, even though it was a pain to get it all off, I thought it was probably a pretty good idea just to add a little bit more security to keeping the Vulcan board in place. So I'd love to see if you guys end up making a bulletin board, what yours looks like and what other ideas you might have for bulletin boards. But I just thought this one turned out so cute. I'm so excited with the punch of color. Um, I've got so much white here in the craft room, which I like, but to give it just a little bit of punch of color, this is definitely fun. So, okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I am going to add it to my wall. I will make sure I give you guys a picture of it hanging up. But look how cute that turned out. I absolutely love it. Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. If you like this tutorial, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click on that subscribe button. And here's that bulletin board hanging up above my desk. I just love how it looks right between my cupboards. And I can't wait to start to add things on this bulletin board. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial 
on how to upcycle a dollar bulletin board into this beautiful piece of artwork. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And if you're looking for other DIY type projects, make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.